All right, welcome back. I'm glad you're able to join me today. And today I just wanna uh, share with you my deer cart uh, by Hawk hunting. And um, it's it's a wonderful cart, y'all. You know? Basically today I'm just gonna give you my honest review and um, just the few times that I've been using them this year. And man, it's a lifesaver. It, it, it definitely take a lot of that weight and, and exhaustion. Can't we say the word, but it definitely take that, <laughs> that, that, that hard work away from you. So um, when it comes to dragging deer, this cart is a lifesaver. And so I just wanna kinda go over my, my setup and my little customization I had to do um, to kinda get this cart to work the way I like it. And um, it's it's not a perfect cart, but I think by far right now it's one of the best cards. So I just thought I'd share it to uh, my fellow hunters and outdoorsmen. It doesn't have to be for hunting. It could be for you know uh, loading stuff in your in your yard or or, or uh, I don't know carry your kids around the backyard and have a good time with them. So <laughs> so let's jump into it. So what really makes this car stand off from all other deer game carts is that this uh, the wheels have the ability to move 360 all around so that's what makes this thing really uh, effective when it, when, it, when it comes to uh, you know going with stumps and rocks and um, you know off terrains and stuff like that and um, it makes this really easy on the cart easy on the drag um, especially if you're like a, a one-man show and um, you have to drag your deer out of the wood by yourself this is really nice this gives it gives the cart mobility to kind of go over stomps and humps like that and that is why this cart is very distinct from the rest the old carts that i used to use that don't have this feature um it makes it really hard to drag over stomps or rocks or if you're if your cart gets stuck um you know on a slanted uh ground makes it really challenging because you're not always just gonna be dragging you do it through grass and, and nice and lawn. So that makes it really uh, uh, tricky when it comes to dragging deer. So this is a very nice feature. At times you're gonna have to add air to the, the tires here because these tires, um, they uh, deflate fairly quick. So um, make sure you have a spare uh, in hand if you do plan to use this uh, on a long trip. I don't know if you can uh, call Hawk and have them order you one, but um, it's, it, it would be nice to have a backup because uh, I feel like these tires won't last that long. So a few things that happened to me while dragging deer. Um, this, these little uh, bolts that comes with the cart by the company, they, they, one broke on me. One, one of them basically broke on me. As you can see, see the size different. As I was trying to tighten it, it broke on me because for the reason being, I had to really tighten it because this, this bar here, it wouldn't stay in position for me. So that's why I had to make these modification. I'll show you in a second here, I'm over close up, but uh, these broke off on me. So I, I feel like the quality just kind of sucked, honestly. And um, I use like a little wrench here to kind of tighten things here. So make sure you bring this with you. What usually happens is this little star nut is supposed to tighten the, um, the handlebar to the cart so that way you can you can drag you can drag the cart um, otherwise if you don't tighten it then it's gonna loosen up on you and these over time it's plastic I don't think they're gonna last very long and it didn't do the job for me it couldn't really tighten up couldn't really hold this handlebar to the cart nicely so I had to do this modification so I'll show you that right now I'll put the detail in the description below but these are all the modification I had to do I had to get a uh, I think 516 nut uh, bolt and some 516 washer and uh, you can pretty much find all of these at your hardware store I got mine from Menard so I'll put all the information in the link below but I had to get some fastener just to for, for security in case these fail but uh, you never know what's gonna happen you know you can be putting two deer on here how I did it you can put a big old big buck uh, like my uncle's um, and you can have really rough terrain and these will really hold up and this held up real well So basically it's the same on the other side and this will hold a hand the bar here where you're gonna where you're gonna uh, Carry with your hand both your hands and the cart. So um, it works really well for me It's simply just some bolts and nuts and washer together it really secure tighten up things together and just making sure that this will not fail on you when you're like two three miles out and you got to drag your, your game back to your car so this did an awesome job for me to be able to drill the holes on each side for this handlebar 
I just used a um, 516 drill bits. Um, you can go bigger if you have to, but um, I just find this much easier. And it's basically the same hole as the uh, one that comes with the cart. So um, it's simply, you know, you could just get a 20 volt um, drill here and then just this 516 drill bit. I'll leave the info in the description. I got this in Menards and um, just basically piercing this through and it does just fine. So um, that's one other modification that I had to do to this cart. So with this modification, I just like to mention that if you do do this modification to your cart, you are now unable to fold this handlebar back to the cart to make it portable and nice and portable to you know stuff it back into your, your trunk or your bed. Um, it's gonna stay like this. It's rock solid. You're not gonna be able to remove this unless you loosen up these bolts. So uh, I find using these uh, nuts here are much more sturdier than your wing nuts. That, that wing nut did not hold. It literally will pierce through or press against this aluminum and will flatten this aluminum out. So um, that's the only downfall. Otherwise, uh, you could use smaller washer. I just didn't have, they didn't have any smaller washer for this size for 516. So this is all they had. So I had to use the big chunky one, which works just fine. You know, it, I think it just add a better surface area for the, for the, for the tightening. So um, it works really well. All right. So one other modification I had to add on to this is uh, this piece right here. Um, as you can see, there's another extra hole here, and this bolt holds this end piece of this cart. So that way you can fold it so it's portable and you can you know, put this in your car nicely. But I like this, but when you um, um, have a game on here or a deer on here, and when you drag it, this will tend to kind of bounce on you. It makes it kind of very wobbly, and I don't know how much long these bolts going to hold if that this kind of motion um, continues. So what you need to get is like these little pin and... I'll show you the exact one I got, so that way you can um, go buy it yourself. And I, I, I got, again, I got mine from Menard. So basically, you kind of fasten it up by just kind of stick it in here. This will kind of pin things together. So in that way, this will prevent this back end of this cart from wobbling. So now, as you can see, now it's nice and tight. So this thing won't fold on you, okay? so. Um, this worked really well. Uh, these never fail. They, they stay in. They don't jump out on you. And I had some rough terrain and so far this guy did a really good job. And then another modification I had to add on to this cart is uh, a little air pumper. And you never know what's going to happen to these tires. I don't know how long they're going to last. And they, they did a really good job. I, mean, I, I went over a lot of sharp rocks and um, it held up well. This gauge or this air pumper held up really well. Um, basically, I just zip tie it and onto the cart and it stood pretty well. Um, we This cart even went underwater and I'll show you a little video here um, when when we were dragging my uh, uncle's buck. So this cart literally, literally went in the water. So I had to add another modification that I have yet to try. Hopefully it will help with the cart being in the water. You never know what you can encounter. Um, anything goes when it comes to hunting. So one other add on I added was uh, I simply got this little um, floaty thing you know, that you use for your boat to protect your boat um, when landing. Um, but uh, hopefully it floats. Um, I still got to pump some air, but uh, I believe this will help with the cart when you have to go through like swamp or ponds or uh, even like that little river that we had to go through, that little creek and hopefully that will kind of you know float things up and that way you're not um having to struggle like how we did so um this is just something that i haven't tried yet but uh hopefully it works we had to go through a creek and um it did okay but uh, now it just gave me an idea with that experience it just gave me an idea to uh, try something like this and see if it'll, it'll work one other thing is that you just got to make sure you bring your tools with you because you don't know what uh what's going to happen on in the woods and so I did get a little bag. I got a little nice uh, bag from Walmart. So it has these little mollies thing that you can strap onto the bottom of the cart here this way. So this is the idea. But one thing I learned about dragging my, my uncle's deer when we had to go through that creek is that this will get wet and it will um, get into your bag. So that can get messy. Um, it could be mud, swamp, um, weeds, all that gunk. And they, obviously you don't want all that to uh, get inside your bag. So. I'm um, really trying to find something that will be waterproof. This is not waterproof. Yeah. Um, only downfall so far that, I, that didn't work for me is this, this little uh, fabric that usually is supposed to hold into the bolt here, kind of like how the other side 
just it basically just kind of ripped on me so um this fabric sucks to be honest but it's still it still worked the car itself still worked um, i'm just curious to see how long this material feels like nylon something just want to see how long this will last but um i think if you take care of it and you wash it um it, it, it will, it'll last a very long time the tires and the bolts here they all held up really well um no problems with that um, all steel on uh, this frame here this cart frame it's holding up really good so i can't complain on that but yeah overall it's a nice little cart so overall i think this car is fantastic in my opinion i think this is by far the best game cart that you can you can get for your money i'll leave the link down in the description below where i got it it's better than your two-wheeler cart or the other flimsy cart that i had in the past and uh i didn't really like those they didn't really uh uh, help a lot so I think overall it's a it's a nice card to get if you are, are if you are a lone hunter um, you hunt by yourself or you you do things around the house by yourself this will kind of take the load off of you and help out a lot so the mass capacity is 500 so um, I don't know I haven't tried anything past 500 but I did put two deer on it and man it held up it did a it did a phenomenal job so if you enjoy this video give it a like and thumbs up and um, hopefully this helped and I will see you in the next adventure.